A good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenerdus Tahima, and welcome back to our Slavic campaign. You join me on the road to Rome, and obviously all roads lead to Rome, but this one specifically leads right to its gates, which is just marvellous. I don't think we can quite reach it this turn. I'm just going to send the cavalry ahead to start. Oh my days! The gates are open. Well, let's send the rest of the lads along, and we can attack this right now. That is magnificent. We will get on with that very soon. There's a couple of things I just need to deal with first. Or just update you on. Obviously, we cleared out the lads next to us on the bridge there and cleared our way down to Rome. Just we ignore Ravenna. Quite a lot of troops there. Well, I say that. Um, there were about seven or eight units there. I thought it'd be easy just to swing down to Rome and take that out. Our spy, obviously, is inside the city. Has seen that it's pretty simple for us to take. So we'll be going to do that pretty soon. Um, I'm a bit worried about the vandals floating around. They seem to be poking around my settlements. I've just sent the lads away from Aquincum. Hopefully they'll be safer in Condentum. I might well swing them down to Italy to go and assist. Albeit if I'm going to hold down against the Vandals, then this stone walled city is probably a good place to do it. We know it's a great place for a siege defence after all. Elsewhere we've got the standard unhappiness kind of swinging around everywhere. Clef is defending the border up here. I'm not, cr not really confident enough to send any armies properly to go and attack the Empire right now. Um, but they have seemed to have stopped, you know, sort of aimlessly killing themselves with the brick wall that is Clef. On the note of Clef though, he is 62. And, you know, whilst he is an awfully good looking chap and loves to fight at night, he's a famous, he's got a famous worry, he's bloody and he's a victor and all of that great nonsense. He is getting on a little bit. So we need to have a new faction heir. So if we go look at our family tree, this is currently our guy here, Freeman the Raffle, who is absolutely terrible. In fact, pretty much our entire family tree is absolutely terrible, it must be said. Now, he's got a few children himself. He's got Hildrick, who he adopted, um, who's not nothing really to write home about. He's got his son here, Atak, who believes in the gods and is a pagan cheapskate, but uh, he's not great either. He's got a witch mother, apparently, but that's good in battle with nothing else. Um... Lamiso over here, not very good, or Lamisio. And yeah, they're kind of the generally all along that vein. I think the best one here is Gillamer. If you might remember, he's the lad that we actually hide as a warlord, local warlord, in the old Scythian um, city over somewhere over here. Yes, in Vika Samate over here, which is, you know, the kind of classic Sarmatian border on the original game. We think this guy is going to be an ideal chap to run the empire. He, um, I mean, none of them really have any management, but he is very good in battle. He's pretty inspirational. He's got good traits pretty much all round, apart from infantry, but, you know, sod the infantry. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I think he's the best bet we've got. Now, he is a little bit on the old side, a little bit on the old side, but I think at 50, he is a much better bet than anyone else. Clef is 62. We can worry about that as we go on. Everyone else is essentially terrible. Some guys here aren't too old, aren't too terrible. Maybe they will follow on. But for now, I think he is going to be the man to lead us on after Clef. But Clef will be the ruler on our great days we take Rome. Now, technically, our job is to take Constantinople and 14 settlements. Now, at this point, we do have 14. So I guess we could just take Constantinople to win it. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. But we've had this opportunity to swing down into Italy. So that is what we are going to do. Rome will fall here. That will give us a bit more of an actual economy. And uh, once we take Italy over, we can start to eat the Western Empire alive, which is just what we want already, isn't it? Now, um, I think it's time just to head in then. Unexpected assault on Rome. Nice and early on today. Competence's first cohort in here. They're going to be tough. And the archers are a bit annoying. It will actually take a little bit of losses, but the gates are open, so that is at least a positive here. We'll run in the gates and we'll try and take them out. Let's go. Here we are then, the Colosseum in the beautiful Eternal City herself. And I'm pretty certain we'll be alright. We've got the General Galloping in, already chasing off their first cohort, who are running back to the centre. Not sure where their archers are. Um, I haven't actually seen them yet. Nope, they're on the plaza. Don't mind me, I just couldn't see any icon on the map. Infantry have got there now. They're going to run up on top of the walls. Honestly, this is just going to be... Oh, look, they're inside. That's kind of odd. Yes, run with blood. There isn't really many, not really many people to kill, to be honest. Oh, I say that. Our generals are 
slightly killing themselves right now. That's fine. <laughs> Pull back, lads. Pull back. Okay, we don't need to completely kill ourselves against the first cohort. They will actually win that if we're not careful. So, chop your way through, sir. Chop your way through. Lovely. Okay, if they want to come back at you, they are welcome. If they want to run away, we'll charge them down. That is perfect. And with the main gate taken, start to head our men in. And that will work fine for us. For some reason, they've chased me the entire other side of the plaza. So, we're just going to go hit the archers over here. Nice and easy, lads. It's a terrible charge, but maybe we'll at least break them over here. These guys are going to reload and throw some javelins in. Uh, our infantry are making their way over here. They're getting there eventually. Pull back out, lads. Yes, and we'll go and charge them once again. That'll be absolutely fine. Well, we could just keep pulling them away. That kind of works for me. Just keep running back over there, lads, and uh, we'll get the surrounding before too long. Unfortunately for these lads, they've been slightly caught out because here come the other cavalry. We have a horse archers who are going to take a bit of damage here on the first volley, but they'll get in and they will hopefully chop them to death. They're pretty experienced at this point. And by the time that the other lads swing back around, their archers will be gone, gone and gone. Perfect. So you swing out, please. And we'll swing back into you with a nice full bloody charge. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, the archers aren't going to live up to that, are they? No, they are not. Last few men to be chopped down then. Might as well go for one more charge. Losing a few more men than I'd like here. But I don't have the patience to wait for all my infantry. So we'll just keep charging the archers. And there they go, melting away. They are now getting shot from all angles. And I'm not sure they're very happy about it. They might be under the eye of the Colosseum, but there'll be no mercy for them today. These are not expensive gladiators. These are cheap, cheap Romans. They fall easily to our lovely Slavic sword. Yes, they are pursuing apparently, but they're getting shot in the back by all of our archers over there. So we'll just shoot down the last of these lads. I don't know what they want to try and do, but I don't think it's going to really work. You can get yourselves over there. We'll just go have a little peek. They're going to throw some javelins into us, are they? Yes. Oh, come on, lads. Don't get yourself killed. Just pull out for a minute. Let the cav... Let the cav... Let the archers do their work. So, the last few men of Rome... Yep, yeah, point your javelins over there when we're all the way over here. Well done, sirs. Well done. And yes, I think it's not going to go too well. Now, normally when I end up attacking Rome, it feels like the grand climax of the campaign. This somehow does not, and perhaps that's fitting for Barbarian Invasion. Um, but it is normally the way in Barbarian Invasion, because there's normally like two units in the city here. And indeed, that is kind of very much, again, the kind of situation we're in. Nonetheless, I can't really complain too much. This is, um, it's getting, we are getting near the end, I think, near the natural end. I think if we um, take Italy, feel secure in our northern part of our empire, then I think it's a case of swinging across to Constantinople and tying up that bit of land. I think that's really our main aim at this point. So I think we've got a few more episodes to come. But this, this is certainly a big step on our way to victory. A big pile of money when we sack this. And after that, after that... I finally decided it's a good idea to actually come and attack these guys. Um, after that, I don't know, I don't know. We, we should be in a much better position to at least in terms of our economy do something, even if our public order is always going to be terrible. So, looks like they're finally actually getting themselves in range of all this. Let's send our general in to go do some damage. They're going to throw a few javelins in to our archers. Honestly, it's not too much of a problem. They are, they're still not very happy, I would suggest. Raiders will consider running away very soon. Generals are eventually going to come in and smash them. I'll be off the plaza by then, so I don't think it's going to end very well for them. However, they want to do this. Oh, look, they've turned around. That just means they're getting shot again. And now they've turned back around. You do the hokey cokey and you Yeah, well, you're just going to die, aren't you? <sighs> ah, the indignity that Roman falls. It is perfect, isn't it? Here they are, they're running. And here comes the general. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, and I think that is them going down, ladies and gents. Missiles, stop what you're doing. Infantry, no, 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 no. We get all of them. 
All of the last few of them get to go down. There we are, there's a flag. This and with it, yes, the, the heart of, of Rome. Sweet music to our warriors. Yes, sweet music of Rome. That is what we want to see. So, 203 kills. Fairly, fairly efficiently done. Lost a few generals there as we did the little dance at the plaza. Victory. There is our victory. There is Rome. And 20 odd thousand in the kitty. Great, and we'll build a pub because. That's what you must do at all times. So, 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 so. If we uh, just get this merged up, not really much merging to do, is there? 78, 32, blah, 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 blah. Most of these lads are pretty much fine. We'll just get most of them healed. Now we can get some more units. Now we might keep these Christians. We get some mounted Aryan priests. Magnificent. <laughs> Actually, they're not too bad, are they? They can conk people on the head with their little weapon there. Um, yeah, just grand. I mean, we do have the odd Christian around. There's like one or two Christians. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are. No, none of these lads are. There was definitely a Christian over in that part of the world, but maybe, maybe, maybe I left you in the city. I don't know where you've ended up, sir. No. Who knows? Who knows? The important thing is Rome is ours. And with that, we at least have some money again. We can send our spy up towards Ravenna. Can see the rest of the units. Lots of first cohorts coming out. Um, I think if we take up Ravenna, that should be their source of that unit gone. I really could do with knowing what's to the south. Maybe I'll get the spy first, then we'll come back to the priests. I promise you, we'll get some Aryan priests, okay? Now, no, 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 no. We have a bit of money again. A little bit of investment is probably a good idea. So, Continentum, get yourself a great market. You can actually have yourself a haul of some sort. God knows what you can do. It's all worthless, isn't it? It's all pointless because you just hate me anyway. You hate me anyway. You hate me anyway. Vicar Saxon is 100 men I just don't like... Is it worth building these things? Probably not. Not for that money anyway. We'll just get the really basic stuff if we haven't done it yet. Over here, recently got rebuilt. It's a port, so I'm Rome Total War, that's always a good idea. Vickers Van Dali. Yeah, let's just queue up a few things in these towns, shall we? Likewise, we'll do that there. We'll get the basic... Nope, that's not what I meant. We'll get the basic things to kind of keep them running, shall we? Over here we can get that hall, and there's nothing really of interest in this area over here. And your plate anyway, so sort all of it. Um, yep, yeah, nothing to do with public order. I can't do anything useful whatsoever. So, Britain expands again. We've got a Roman turncoat, which is marvellous. It's already got massively high command, but it's just got that little bit better. I think what we need to do is just make sure we know what's going on in these towns. That's Frankish, isn't it? Yeah, so we can take that as well. We'll go and take the, uh, the old Swiss mountains, I think. And if we can... Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe Marseille would be a good place for us to stop. Because if we have Massilia, then we can always, um, yeah, we can always hold them off the bridge here. It might be a good place for us to hang our hat, so to speak. So um, we'll have to ponder where that border might be. But we certainly need to go capture Ravenna in the near future. A new turn, and the Vandals have indeed sacked a Quinkum. I just left one tiny unit in there, and naturally they haven't been able to defend it. The Julii, the, Judi the Western Empire, definitely on a, a bit of the return rampage at this stage. They have put Medellinum under siege. Looks like it's an even force, but there's a lot of units there. I'm guessing they're quite badly damaged. We really need to go and reinforce that. Um, unfortunately, my reinforcements, I kind of would rather be up at uh, Carnuntum. Because Carnuntum is looking pretty vulnerable to any Vandals. Uh, I can block the bridge, but I don't have units to block the bridge. So I can't block the bridge. Now, Cliff is up here now because they seem to have decided that attacking this town is what they want to do. Which is rather irritating. It means that we're going to need to retrain forces up here before we can defend the north as well. Luckily for us, Tarentum is under siege. So Tarentum will go down to us. Nice and easy. Exterminate the population. And I'm just going to take everyone. We'll probably keep Clovis behind. And we will plonk down a watchtower on our way. But we will essentially get on with our lives. 
get him back to Rome. Perfect. So, you over here, Clavis, you can get yourself just some normal step speed and just to hold the fort, so to speak. Low tax rate. Get yourself a port. They don't even have a port here. Absolutely useless Western Empire, aren't they? Now, got myself the Spiver here. Eastern Empire just kind of wandering, are they? Yeah, it looks like they're just wandering, ambling around. It's fine by me. You know what? I'll probably swing back over to them. Um, as I said, Condon could really do with something to help it out here, but there's not a lot I can currently do. I'm going to take up these forces and swing over to... Probably need to get to the bridge with these guys, actually. Uh, I have enough infantry to hold, actually. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. What I need to do is clear those guys out of the way and get to the bridge and try and hold there. I can then bat off the reinforcements and then swing and defend Mediolanum. Um, possibly I could be a little bit cheeky, but I'm not sure. Do you know what I do? I'm going to move up around the map with a bit of infrastructure work. Now we have a bit more money again. We might where I need to spend money on some troops because it looks like I might need to get a bit of defensive force together to deal with the Vandals, particularly to deal with the Romans up in the north and the south. Got a bit of a cheeky plan here to go and deal with Ravenna. Now, I would very much like to go swing in, take it. Luckily, there are ballista that I can hire over here. So, if I just get that under siege with my general, I could do with Rome, and then wander these lads in. We can attack, ladies and gents. It's all to resolve that. And with that, Ravenna goes down too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, with that little triumph, we can swing on forward. Just the general in there left it very exposed. Um, I could have done that if there were a few more bits of infantry in there. But nope, they've sent them out, wandering around the random fields of North Italy. So we'll just go and take them. Well, take them straight to the grave. Marvellous. So, retrain those few troops. Looks like we could do with a few more archers. In fact, if Rome isn't the front line, I'm going to send these lads... They can't actually get in, which is annoying, even though the other lads all made it. But um, I suppose it does make some sense realistically, doesn't it? This agent, this spy, what would I like you to do? I'll tell you what you can do. You can stand here for the moment, but once we've got our fishing village sorted, we'll get a boat and we'll just hop you over to around this area. It'd be good to see what's going on, I think. Well, be it, I might actually just want you further north. You know what? Yeah. Let's just send you off with this lad for now, and we'll sort that out in good time. So if I can now spend the extra money I've got once again, we'll get some heavy spearmen. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Those guys can certainly help me out. Um, over here, we need to smash into these lads, take them out. So that is our next step once more. Got through on the raffle, who is disinherited even worse than he used to be. Uh, this lad over here. Now, we probably will hire up some more lads. So we'll keep that money in hand, but not until we have got to the bridge. So, a few archers, some Limitane, marvellous. Let's swing in, let's take these lads out. Archers getting their shots in nice and early. We can swing our cav out to the flank then to go and deal with their Limitane, who are going to throw a couple javelins in, but honestly, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, we can easily retrain a few of our lovely archers. General's just going to come in and take them out of the game. So all missiles focus fire on their archers, whilst we go and swing into them ourselves. Limitani aren't going to do a lot, but this guy could still get himself killed. No, he is gone. That is marvellous. Yep, you swing over there. You are dealing with them. Archers we need to just get poked so they're no longer engaging us. We'll just send our archers in. We'll turn our archers off, actually. And we will, yeah, use the cavalry at this point. I think we pretty much won it before it even began. Marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. Indeed. And with that, the path is clear. Yep, retinue has expanded. Roman tone coat as well. I can't speak. Roman tone, turn, 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 turn. Roman turn coat. There we are. Um... That sets us up nicely then, I think, on the bridge here. We'll get ourselves some more lovely units. Don't really need the Lancer Cav. If they want to hire them, they can waste their money. We've also got a mercenary captain. 
Ideal cash gain from looting. Might be a bit of that to do yet. Marveloso. So, with that, we are looking pretty good when it comes to Italy. Look at that, a beautiful shade of blue and grey. That was very sudden, wasn't it? Um, technically, we don't quite have an actual border here. Well, we do have a border, but we don't we can't quite get around. Looks like they've lost an army in um, in a few battles they've had. So that's interesting for sure. But, um, hmm. Oh yes, of course, we need to go and deal with this as well. So let's go and swing straight into these lads. I'll pull them out into the field. Scutiari. Um, although there's the Plumbatari, aren't they? What are the oh, dear. I'm just talking nonsense. Um, right, let's have a little look. See, a bit of experience and some of the damage, lads. But on the whole, nothing too much to worry about. We've got a pretty strong army here with Clef. We've got reinforcements there, which are, of course, I don't, can't control these, can I? Um, you know what? I'm going to make sure I control them. I'm just going to take this on with Clef's army. They can be reinforcements if I need them. Let's go. Let's take out Hannibalanius. Fresh warriors have arrived. Perhaps it is the time to send them to kill the enemy. Fresh warriors indeed, but they are not going to enter the battlefield without my implicit command, explicit command even. Where are they? I'm hoping they just stand there so that the general won't go and kill himself. Um, did that say AI controlled? AI reinforcements. Oh great, they're not doing what I asked them to. game likes to do this, doesn't it? Where it says one thing and it does the opposite. It's particularly bad with that when it comes to... Um, AI reinforcements. Yeah, well, we have tons of horse archers. We'll get the surround on nice and early. If you drown them in arrows, they have minimal archers. Is it two units? Yeah, basically two units in between all the dead ones. So there's a couple little scrags of them here or there. But um, if we can just get all of our horse archers over there, that'd be grand. Might start sending these other cav to mop up the archers if they want to run out of position. But in general, we should be in a good position. They are sending some men over to the reinforcements, but I think that won't matter too much, will it? No, it should be fine. Should be fine. So we're just going to keep swinging our lads around as the generals run on in. Who are we over here? A slightly weak unit of plum lads and a slightly useless unit of committed tenses. Pretty badly damaged. The charges will take them out of this game all in one lovely foul sweep. Lovely, or a fell sweep as it should be said. Um, you might want to get yourself out of there. And the second charge will come in. They won't like that. No, they are melting away. Perfect. So, as we do that, I think it's a pretty good idea to get these guys a little bit closer to the action. We can just get them... Try and get them close to range. Yeah, we can pull these guys around. You know what, you three descend on the archers. Foderati lads are going to get absolutely annihilated very, very soon. Whichever one of you swing out there, that would be perfect. And yeah, they're, they're getting pulled all over the place by her cab. They do not like this and how to respond. I think they're semi-retreating, but they're also kind of half running away as well. Um, they're both the same phrase. <laughs> right, some of them are running at us, some of them are running away from us. God, I don't know what's happened in between the last episode and the last episode. The last battle and this one. Anyway, Luminati are over there. Our archers are going to shoot into those guys. Most of them are fleeing here. I'd like to take them out. I'm just going to send this main force over here storming over in this direction. No, I want a formation, thank you. You guys all run over here. Can we get Clef himself just to start charging? You might as well get into those lads. Warlord, you might as well get into these ones. And you, sirs, just keep swinging over here, actually, because I think we can do some lovely, lovely damage. You lads, go take out those archers. You take out those lads. More archers we can deal with them. Plumbatari are going to be slightly more problematic. But we should, on the whole, be able to deal with all of these guys. Hit those archers. Those guys are about to break up, I think. Not quite. There we go. Swing over there. You lads swing over there. We're not quite going to catch all the infantry, are we? I don't think so. If you lads would like to cut them off, that would be ideal. 
Yep, just get some shots in general. Don't get yourself killed, but you can do some brilliant, brilliant damage to them. Um, you guys all just pile into them. General, if you can swing around here, you might be able to do some good damage. Warlord, get in here. Warlord, get in here. Come on. You want to do all the damage we can. Absolutely flood these guys with their own corpses. And then swing over here. Don't worry about them for now. We'll come back to them. General's going to get a charge and he should just hit them before they flee. 81. Killed a few of them. Oh, they got pulled back. We got pulled back. I love it when that happens. That's one of the best little random glitches. Magnificent. So if we can get one of you to just swing in. And the rest. Apart from you. Swing back into the Plumbatari. That would be magnificent. You guys... They're kind of stuck. They are wavering. And hopefully this will do the job. Yeah, they're out in now. These guys have escaped, unfortunately. But on the whole, we've done a huge amount of damage to them. For pretty minimal losses. Slay them all. Goats are good to eat, as we well, well know. So um, if all missiles could stop, lads, that would be ideal. Let's not be shooting ourselves. And yeah, I think we've pretty much cleared them all here. 2% lost, 81% of them. Magnificent. I'll just let the AI finish off these lads because they seem desperate to get involved. Um, <laughs> oh, they don't know what to do. Yeah, they are shooting them. Get out the way, my guys. Get out the way because we're just going to get shot by our own allies. Seems to be what's going on. All missiles start shooting. Victory. There we go. Clear victory. Few men lost. Um, on the whole, though, pretty much unscathed from that battle. I think we talked to the uh, the good old Romans a lesson or two the last turn. Hurry. Apparently, that counts as something getting away. Just one main unit of infantry. That's all that really managed it. So, on the whole, I would be quite happy with that. Yes. Now, Cliff, if you can continue, actually, yeah, continue on your way back. That will suit me. We'll hang around there. He then can't get across the bridge. We'll take him out. And if this guy wants to come in into this direction, we'll head back to the bridge. We'll just kind of hold our position over there. Marvellous. Well, another bit of money to spend. I'm going to head around the map, go and spend it, and we'll see what the Romans want to do about us next turn because I'd like to think that we can um, just continue our rampage a little bit more. Oh, a huge affair outside Mediolanum coming up. Then it looks pretty even. Uh, there are quite a few more men. It uh, yeah, it can't be denied. But a lot of those are horses which aren't going to be particularly good in this particular battle. A lot of experienced units with pretty hefty damage, actually. So we should have a chance there. Problem is, size of these walls, that tower is going to do some bad ballista damage to us. So we've got to be careful about that. Um, I reckon we can hold them off though. Look at the experience of our lads here. We've got six experience, silver shield, silver sword. I reckon we have a good chance, but this will be another card into my reckon. Um, yeah, I have, I've sent my army up north to go and deal with the fact that the Vandals seem to be creeping ever closer to my homelands. And um, yes, the Ravenna troops are on their way, but they're not here just yet. Let's head in, see if we can win. Well, this should certainly be interesting. So I've got no one directly on this part of wall where they're obviously going to come for. Um, largely because we obviously have the big issue that uh, this tower just shoots horrendous ballista bolts at this size wall. Honestly, I think size 3 walls are the best because any bigger you start getting the problems I've got here, which is I have to hide all of my men whilst the tower turns up. So we've got some step swordsmen hidden over there. I've got some archers over here. You should be safe behind this particular position. Go and shoot down the Plumbatari, please. And as for this, I don't really know why... Yeah, I was going to say, if you're going to sap this wall, don't really know why you're trying to put your tower there as well. Um, hopefully the ram will burn down, but I'm not expecting um, the tower to go. Yeah, the ram's going. That was never going to last because this kind of wall even on very hard. Um, hopefully the sap point blows up, but if it doesn't, I've got myself spearmen to try and hold the positions. Actually... Now that we've um, now that we know that other position has held, you might as well go send those lads over here. That would be ideal, I think, because yeah, if they blow up this wall here, I want some spearmen here, 
and I have these guys over here to kind of hold the position as well. So I can sort of pin them in as they try and get through the wall then. Now, in terms of this tower, that's a bigger problem when this reaches there, because when this reaches there, we're going to need to get our men on the walls properly. Um, now, yes, I think we are going to have to set them up then. Okay, you... Yeah, they're still wondering, but I think it is time to send them up, just in case we so need them. Um, yeah, the tower should be fine from shooting. Yeah, it was just shooting us, actually, which is interesting. Didn't think they could quite hit us, but apparently the artillery is shooting at us. So yeah, we'll do that. You guys get over here. We should be able to stand up without getting shot at this point. And yeah, hopefully the towers just do some good work as we get ourselves set up. You lads get yourself there in good time. These lads are hiding around the corner. Likewise, in fact, yeah, you guys really do need to run because their sap point's getting closer and closer. We can't actually get these swordsmen back unless we win this. Ow! That's not cool. I guess arrows are stopped by the uh, by the walls, but they're not. That's ridiculous. Alright, we should be fine at this stage, so you lads get yourself over there, just in case the wall wants to be awkward later. But then we will blow up the middle part of this wall before too long. Since we have blown up the ram, the spearmen at the gates here don't really need to be there, strictly speaking. So they can just bring themselves over here somewhere, that will be grand. Let's get ourselves all set up. So, they are going to start filling this up. 76. Are they stuck? <laughs> they've got the glitch. They've got the stupid glitch where they can't get in the tower. Well, they're going to... No, 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 Don't. Don't do whatever you were just doing. I don't know what you were doing, but the sap point's about to blow. It's not a good time to do that. Right, if that's going to be a problem, I'm just going to leave the one swordsman up here, and we can defend this breach when this blows in a moment. That's probably going to be a better plan for us. So... We'll get you lads over here. There we go. You can start to see it collapsing for us. It's a bit of a shame. But yeah, these guys... Oh no, they are getting up. They are getting up. They are getting up. You guys, you're going to have to stay up there, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, they break the glitch. Or oh, the glitch wasn't happening, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, the wall is certainly going to go down pretty soon. So you guys really want to make sure you're a proper distance away. Lots of horsemen waiting for this hole in the wall to happen. Um... There, most of it goes. Archers are out of ammo, which uh, just means they're kind of auxiliary men on the walls, doesn't it? They've barely done any damage to anyone. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, okay, well, they're vaguely in the right position anyway. Vaguely in the right position. Are they going to be in trouble when this thing slaps down on them? There goes the wall. Our defenses are down. No. Right, well, here comes the charge, I suppose. Ooh, the charge of the cav. Right, well, let's get our men right up to this wall here. Yeah, that's it, man. Get there. Get to the breach. And horse archers, get in there as well. Okay, you sirs, you need to be running a little bit quicker than that. Okay, these lads are really not doing what I'm asking them to, but on the walls we do tend to do stupid things. At the walls themselves, we should be fine to hold, actually. Um, they are not going to last too long. We've got very experienced uh, spearmen here. Yeah, the horses have no chance. The veterinario will hold a little bit, but they are surrounded. There's only three of them, in fact, so that is not a problem. Yeah, here they come. War cry, lads, war cry. Spears attack. We're on 105 with five experience. Charge in then, lads. Get into that battle. Right, well, it seems like we're doing the job over here. Smaller unit charging just to have some extra damage. And there we go. They're already broken. I think we're in a fairly good position when it comes to this. I'm hoping the extra charge might just convince them to flee. Hasn't quite, but that's fine. We'll just pull out. There's three mercenary veterinary who just refuse to uh, 
refuse to die apparently. You guys come over here. I kind of want you on defensive more than anything else to be honest. Here comes some Palatina. You lads really need to get across. No, they're doing stupid things. Stupid things by the heavy spearmen here. Who um, I've never used before. They seem to have decent stats, but they seem to be doing stupid things right now. Don't know if anyone else is going to come up this tower. Indeed they are. We'll just get these guys to reset into their previous position. That's grand. You lads just do that. I reckon we can do this then. As long as um, we can win that wall battle, I think we're in a good position. Off defensive and charge. Off defensive and charge. Those Palatina are tough, but I think um, we'll, with the surround on, we'll be in a pretty good position. We've got good experience on us. That should be the key teller for us when it comes to this battle. They only have a sat point. The, uh, the tower isn't doing an awful lot for them. We're going to continue to shoot at them as long as we are up there. But some of the archers down though, I might need some auxiliary infantry just in case this becomes more problematic. Um, Palatina are tired but they are going to chop through our men. So far it's just the heavy spearmen though. And there they go, they've melted. So you guys stop. Fire at will but kind of stop. No, no, okay fine. Right, well the archers are coming. I don't know what the rest of them are going to do. I don't know if any of them are going to try and run in. I kind of, you know, you're you're kind of invited, lads. You won't win, so uh, help yourselves. This doesn't turn out quite like gun in turn right now. Um, I think the fact that we've managed to minimise the the entrance points is very much helping us here. But also just the experience. These are experienced lads, even if I'm lacking archers. But the thing is, the heavy Roman units generally archers don't do an awful lot against them anyway. I love the formation of these archers here. They've got shields on the back. I'm actually asking them to be infantry right now, but no, we'll keep the sword, we'll keep the shields on our back because it looks cool. Um, yeah, meanwhile, it's just a pile of corpses here. Nothing really happening. They've just got their slight glitch issue, uh, which means that the computer, I guess, is doing what I would have to do in that situation, which is double click endlessly whilst one at a time manages to work. Um, formations really aren't working on the wall today, are they? But they're just getting shut down whilst we wait for anything to actually happen. Cavalry actually coming in! You can probably tell by the clock here, it's ages later, ages later. No, 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 Spearmen, Spearmen, Archers, you're, um, you're auxiliary, which means you hold back, okay? You don't run aimlessly into them, thank you very much. Lovely! Well, I was just sending down these guys to do a bit more because they're out of infantry at this point. No, 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 no. General's coming in, lads. Back into position. We're about to actually do this job. You do need to just hold a little bit of discipline. So, all of you run. Oh, yes, we should be able to catch this general, actually, when he tries to flee. This should be good. Let's get our uh, archer cav ready for that eventuality. Arch Cav, get yourselves there. No. Alright, let's start sending our Cav after them because they seem to have decided it wasn't a good idea. Let's go. Oh, they are going to run out. That's odd. Maybe it's because the rest of them came back. Well, Arch Cav, swing out there. Are they going to come in the city or are they going to chase the horse archers? Ah, oh, here we are. Well, they're all just chasing the horse archers at the moment. Interesting. Nope, some of them are going in. Some of them are going in. Well, the general wants to chase me. He's welcome to. Um, I'm pr pretty sure I can win over here. Yep, looks like it. Looks like it. And uh, with that going very much my way, I'm pretty sure I can concentrate on these lads running around the towers. Nope, he doesn't want to do it. Which I suggest means he's going to swing in now. They're routing. Yeah, come on. Get yourself in the trap, General. Get yourself into the trap. Oh, this is magnificent. Come on. Run in there. That is... That's good. That's what you want to see. General has got himself trapped. He's got himself well into that melee. And it's not going to work for him. All infantry. Smash him now. Right, you, sir. Get... He's going. He's fleeing. He's fleeing. He's going, he's down, 
He has not fled properly, and he has been slain. Brave warriors! And here's the victory. Indeed, it is a hunt. And down go the cowards. Well, we'll let those last few men get away, but I'd say that was a pretty darn successful defence. Apart from this hole in the wall, we guess we need to fix, but we, um, we certainly had the spearmen to do it. They are looking pretty immense, aren't they? Six experience on them, and uh, yeah, brutal work. Even though these guys should be a lot better, you can see they're the difference. 13, 4, 25. 14, 4, 19. Yeah, but even just the, uh, even just the buffs of having that experience is huge in this game. Right, well, that was surprisingly uh, efficient for us. And with the heroic victory, it looks like North Italy is looking pretty well sewn up. I can retrain the... Well, if I had money, I could retrain those. Uh, where, where's this? Oh! Oh yeah, this rebelled. Um, I was kind of hoping to seed you out, actually, guys. Um... You know what? I reckon we can still win this. I reckon we can still win this. All right, we'll do this next time. Next time we'll start off with uh, the great Vickers Van Dali taking back one of our rebellions. It was inevitable that was going to happen eventually. I think, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> if it was been so unhappy for so long, there's there's hadn't been any rebellions. I thought we were fine, but no. It seems they want to raise up against me. I'm pretty sure if they come out, we can just charge them down with our calves. That's what we'll do. But that'll be next time, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as you can hear from the great celebratory music, it has been a grand old day for us. We have taken Rome. We have taken southern Italy. We have taken Ravenna. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't speak. And Medellanum has been defended. Look at that down there on the map. That is magnificent. And with the music, I will leave you. I'm Thomas. This is Tenez de Cumin. And this has been our Slavic campaign. Thank you. And goodbye. They are just throwing themselves to their deaths. Woohoo! Chunky, chunky, chunky death. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, <laughs> we're flying. There is no one near beside him. Yeah, axe in the head. Axe in the head. Yeah, beautiful.